welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday, so it's meal prep day. I have three healthy eating whole food protein recipes for you. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out that description box down below for my recipe website. This is where you will find today's recipes as well as as well as well all of my other recipes, nutrition coaching, personalized macros and calories, highly recommend. This is how I lost my 140 pounds and have since maintained that weight loss. And I have one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join my Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's head on into the kitchen for this week's meal prep. For my breakfast this week, I'm actually making a single serve protein cookie. So I'm going to make one in meal prep and then I'll just throw this together quickly in the morning. Super, super easy to make and you're going to get in a big punch of protein. I'm going to pair this with some fruit. So let me show you what you'll need. First I have Lily's white chocolate chips, baking soda, sweetener alternative of your choice. I'm using Lakanto granulated. You already know it's my favorite sweetener. I do have a 15% off discount code for Lakanto site-wide. I will link it down below for you. And then I'm going to use American Dream Nut Butter. Again, my all time favorite nut butter. I love the Franken Butter. Really, truly, you can't go wrong with any of their nut butters. Less points, less calories, more protein than regular peanut butter. So good. I mean, we have candy mix ins, they're that good. So I'm going to use American Dream Nut Butter. I will link it down below with a discount as well. You'll need vanilla extract. Protein powder of your choice. I'm also using my favorite protein powder. This is the one I eat every day. Once a day, sometimes twice a day is Clean Simple Eats. I'm going to use coconut cream. I think that'll make a really yummy tasting cookie along with the peanut butter and the white chocolate. I will also link Clean Simple Eats down below with a discount. And then lastly, you'll need a little salt. So the first thing I did is added two tablespoons of nut butter to a bowl, threw it in the microwave just to get it nice and soft. And then we want three tablespoons of protein powder, 16 grams. So I have it on my food scale. I'm going to measure out 16 grams. It may not be this full packet. I might be able to get more than one cookie out of this. So I'm going to add protein powder until I'm at 16 grams. Actually, how many grams is in here? This is 34 grams. So basically about half of this packet of protein powder. So there's 16 grams. So yeah, half the packet. You can save the other half for another cookie. And then we're going to add in one and a half tablespoons of your favorite sweetener, a tablespoon of water, a pinch of salt, and literally a pinch of baking soda, one sixteenth of a teaspoon. So very, very, very little. And then I'm going to add in 15 white chocolate chips. Give that a quick stir. You can always add in a little bit more water to get the right consistency. So there's what the mixture looks like. This smells amazing. I'm going to pull out a cookie sheet, spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. Scoop out your mixture onto your baking sheet and then just flatten it into a cookie shape. You can spray the bottom of your spoon with nonstick cooking spray and that way it won't stick as you flatten it out. Kind of a pro tip, something I do a lot with sticky bases. There's our cookie in a 350 degree oven for seven minutes. So the breakfast protein cookie is out of the oven. Look how huge this is. It smells like an actual bakery cookie. I'm super excited for this. Again, I plan on pairing this with some fruit. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For lunch this week, I'm making fish tacos with homemade slaw. I'm probably going to top this with some fresh avocado and then I'll use my little mini tortillas for 25 calories. I'll show those to you at the end. You can use any tortilla, but let me show you what you'll need for the fish tacos. The fish tacos and the slaw. So you're gonna need some honey, oil of your choice, lime juice, some seasonings, cumin, smoked paprika and garlic powder, salt and pepper. I'm using cod, you can use tilapia, salmon, whatever fish you want, I have this wild caught cod, it looks amazing. I picked up some tricolor coleslaw for the slaw, green onions, and fresh cilantro. So the first thing we're going to do is get our fish marinating. So I've added my cod fillets to a gallon size Ziploc. Let's mix up the marinade, starting with two tablespoons of lime juice. About a teaspoon of smoked paprika. About a half a teaspoon of garlic, half a teaspoon of cumin, 
and then some salt and pepper. You can also add in a pinch of cayenne. I'm going to eliminate that because I don't like spicy. And then I'm going to add in just a splash, and I mean a splash of oil. Mix this yummy marinade together and then we're going to just pour it into the bag with our fish. Throw it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. While our fish is marinating, we are going to put together the slaw. I go ahead and close the bag up, get all of the air out, and then I just take my hands and kind of just smush the fish in with the marinade. And then I'm popping it in the fridge for 30 minutes. So to make the salah, I added my whole bag of coleslaw to a bowl. Who else picks up who else picks out all the big chunks of coleslaw? You know how there's big pieces? So gross. I picked all those out, so I have the good coleslaw in my bowl. I'm going to add my chopped up cilantro and green onions, one tablespoon of lime juice, one tablespoon of olive oil or any oil of your choice. And then I always do my honey after oil because it just slides right out of the spoon that way. And I'm doing one tablespoon of honey and then a little bit of salt and pepper. And then just mix that together. I typically will just use a couple of forks and get everything mixed and all of that slaw coated. And there is the slaw for the fish tacos. So my fish is ready to go into the oven. I'm going to put it in the oven at 350 degrees. You could air fry this, you could grill this on your outdoor grill. I'm just gonna pop it in the oven. So I just pulled my fish out of the oven. I did not cook it all the way through because I'm going to warm it up before I assemble my tacos and I don't want it to be spongy. Overcooked fish, no bueno. So I did undercook it just a little bit. So I'm going to divide this up amongst my tacos for the week. I have my slaw, which by the way, looks incredible, smells incredible. And then these are the tortillas that I plan on using. These are the little mini zero carb. These are perfect for little fish tacos or street tacos. They're only 25 calories a piece. I really like them. They're super, super good. And then of course I'll top it with some fresh avocado. So I'll put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. So for a sweet treat this week, I am making a protein packed pumpkin brownie. These are fantastic pre and post workout and I have been craving brownies so I'm really excited. Let me show you what you'll need. So first you're going to need vanilla extract, pumpkin puree, again sweetener of your choice. I'm using my Lakanto granulated. Don't forget I have Lakanto linked down below with 15% off, pumpkin pie spice, salt, Protein powder of your choice, of course, Clean Simple Eats. I'm gonna do the chocolate peanut butter. I think that'll be a really nice addition to the brownies. Cocoa powder, and then again, nut butter of your choice. I am almost out of this one, so I'm gonna finish this up. This is again the American Dream Nut Butter Franken Butter. I will link American Dream Nut Butter and Clean Simple Eats down below with discounts as well. So for the brownies, everything goes into one bowl. Super easy. This is an entire can of pumpkin. I wasn't sure, the recipe calls for one and a quarter cups, which was the entire can. So you can save yourself a dish and just put in the whole can of pumpkin puree. I have two thirds cup nut butter. I did throw it in the microwave just to get it a little bit softer so it'll mix in a little bit better with the rest of the brownie mixture. Quarter cup Lakanto, third cup cocoa powder, some vanilla extract. I'm going to add the entire packet of protein powder. The recipe calls for three tablespoons. This is just a hair over three tablespoons. So I'm going to go ahead and add it all. Some pumpkin pie spice and some salt. And then mix it all together. We're going to spray an eight by eight, nine by nine, whatever size you have baking dish with nonstick cooking spray. And then go ahead and scoop in your brownie mixture. And then just spread it out nice and even in the bottom of your baking dish. These are going into a 325 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. If you want them a little extra fudgy, you can put them in for 20 minutes. That is what I'm going to do. So here are the brownies out of the oven. These smell so good. They're super soft and fudgy. So I did put mine in for 20 minutes because I did want them to be more of that fudge-like consistency. So I'll go ahead and put serving sizes, points, calories, macros here on the screen for you.
for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the recipes packed with protein from today's video. And don't forget, you'll find my recipes on my recipe website. It is linked in the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. Definitely come join us. We'd love to have you. Happy Monday, friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.